Stakeholders are concerned that the cancellation of the Christmas Open Swim Meet on Monday will significantly hamper preparations of some of the nation's swimmers for the 2022 season. And as we'll hear in this report from Jordan Fort, local swimming's governing body is also being accused of poor treatment of the nation's swimmers. National coach Wendy Lee says the cancellation of the four-day Christmas Open swim meet after two days on Monday will have spillover effects into the 2022 season. The Commonwealth Games, Carifta Championships and the FINA World Swimming Championships are some of the major events on the radar of Jamaica's swimmers for 2022. The parents have spent money, the kids have invested time, the coaches have prepared their athletes. This was the only opportunity for some of the swimmers, our national representatives, to set the qualifying times they need to perform for the country of Jamaica in 2022. Now we have to completely reset our program. In the meantime, ASAJ President Martin Lynn has said that the association may consider some sort of compensation for swimmers who incurred expenses in traveling from abroad without getting a chance to compete in some events. I'm not saying that that is not great disappointment. I'm not saying that you know, there, sh there shouldn't be, again, something to look at going forward. And perhaps we will look at something, uh, recompense or so. But at this point in time, it's just, it happened. It's not something that we anticipated. Certainly, we wouldn't be closing a meet like this. But Lynn says swimmers shouldn't be displaced for too long, as he expects the pool to be back up and running before the end of the week. No, at this point in time, if we can get the repairs, and we have already spoken to IPL, and IPL has already agreed to pay for the repairs of this particular mechanical item. So it's a matter of getting it out of the, the, the mechanic, so to speak, getting it to the repair shop and getting it back installed. I would say a matter of two to three days. And Lee has called for an end to what she has described as poor treatment of swimmers and coaches from local swimming's governing body consistently have not been given us the right training time. They have shut, up, shut us down when we are trying to work. They have been unkind. They have been accusatory to us. And rather than focusing on the things they need to be focusing on to, to maintain the pool in an adequate so that the athletes have an opportunity to train, the lack of communication, the ad hoc manner in which they're operating the pool, it cannot continue. Jordan Fort, TVJ Sports.